Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video about that's about removing a payment method stock on your iPhone. Even though you set it up, everything might looks like to right, but you know, when you're trying to remove it, it's just causing you some problems. I'll try my best to help you in this video. Explain first why this happens, and then I'm gonna show you four ways to finally delete the payment method. So First of all, why you can't remove your payment me method? Well, iPhone users payment methods for things like your iPhone uses payment methods for things like app subscriptions, in-app purchases, really super convenient, but it can be annoying if you can't remove a card you don't want to use anymore and there are three main reasons why you might be stuck so first of all I'm gonna have to talk about active subscription so if you have an app subscription if you have an app subscription that's still active you will need to cancel it before you can remove your payment method apple needs to know how you'll pay for any remaining charges and later on in a couple of minutes i'll show you how you can re uh, check if you have active subscriptions and how to remove you any any active subscription how you can cancel a subscription now another reason why you're stuck and you can't remove your payment method is because you have some uh, charges on your Apple account and you aren't able to remove your payment method until you just solve that issue with your unpaid balance. And this could be, be for maybe past purchases, iCloud storage up, upgrades. Also, if you use purchase sharing with someone else Apple ID, you might be able might not be able to remove your payment method because it's it's been used for their purchases too so in this case what you can do first is we're gonna have to go to apple and then here because i'm gonna show you that the first method is to cancel your 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 subscription so we're gonna have to go to subscriptions here and then here in subscriptions we have our active and inactive subscription so here just click on your active subscriptions and then click on cancel. I already canceled this subscription, but that's where you have to go. Then we're going to have to clear any unpaid charges. So if there's something, um, your balance, make sure you, uh, you, you solve that. Now I can't show you anything here. Just make sure you clean your, if you have uh, any unpaid balance. Now we're going to have to turn off purchase sharing because if you have purchase sharing, you if you're still using purchase sharing, you might need to talk to the person maybe you're sharing with and disable it. This will allow you to remove your payment method. Maybe you're using this, sharing this with a friend, I don't know, family. So let's go to family here and then here in purchase sharing, we're going to have to turn this off. So I already turned this off, but if you have this on, it will just show you to, it will just show you like this enabled and you click on that. And then here you have stop purchase sharing and that's what you have to do. So now after you're doing that, if you want to keep making purchases on your iPhone, but with a different card, which that was my situation. Uh, I was like, still, I wanted to remove my credit card, but I didn't know I gotta have to first to add another one and then remove the other one. So you can add a new, a new payment method. And then once you set, once the new one is set up, so once you have your, you set up your new credit card, your credit card, your debt payment, then you should be able to remove the old one. So just go here to payment and shipping and uh, 
I already have just one payment method. Now also there's the Apple Pay, but I can click on add payment method. And once I add this new payment method, I can click on MasterCard, this one, and click select here, remove payment method. Because if I'm doing this right now and I'll click on remove, as you can see, it does not work. It shows me this error, unable to remove Family organizer require at least one payment on file. So to fix this, all I have to do here is to is to add a new payment method and then I'll be able to do that. And here in family, as you can see, this one as well, we need to disable that. So just stop, uh, stop purchase sharing. All right. And uh, yeah, now we stopped this, as you can see, and this now should work just fine. I hope you found this helpful. I hope this saved your time. I hope you learned something, helped solve this issue. If it did, make sure you like, you subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. If you have come questions, leave your questions down below. Thanks for watching and take care.